Hey guys, Alessandro here, and today I want to talk about something, uh, something particular, uh, kind of a hot topic, uh, currently today on YouTube, and what I want to address is this whole deal with the, uh, YouTube monetization, the whole update with the guidelines and all that. Now, there's been a lot of controversy over it and all, in regard to the, uh, to the whole deal with it and and it, it is a really is it is really a concern over it um really concerned over it uh, i finished watching some of the uh some of the videos from some of the uh youtubers and all uh of course um amazing atss is uh just quote unquote family tube and all and, and i agree with him um What's his name? Um, Armored Skeptic, uh, of course, uh, covers this whole, sh uh, whole shit, and he goes uh, more into detail uh, what this uh, what this shit's about. Okay, and it, of course, it, uh, I'm gonna go over the whole deal with swearing and all that shit. But anyway, um, he goes into detail and pretty much saying in reference to the advertisers how. Um, this whole deal that they don't want their videos on just any, uh, on just any video and all. And, yeah, that's understandable. Because the thing is that, um, pretty much because of the bad image you might get them. For example, um, what's a terrible YouTuber like Keems, um, I think it's Keemstar, yeah, that's Keemstar. No, knowing how controversial he is and everything, knowing how uh, all the all the shit that's going on with uh, um, the negative reputation that Keemstar has, uh, a lot of I'm pretty sure a lot of companies wouldn't want that sort of advertisement. I I get that from that standpoint, but the thing is that uh, m my perspective is this: controversial topics. Uh, or any, any of these topics that tend to um, bring attention, any anything that brings in argument and all, it usually tends to bring people. It tends to bring a lot of attention of a lot of people. And the thing is that um, usually, if you want exposure. Uh, as a company, you're gonna go to where there's a lot of people and all, but uh, it, it, it it's kind of complicated because at the same time, as a company, you don't want uh, a negative reputation. You don't want that. Um, but at the same time, the overall, at the bottom line is uh, of it all, it all comes down to a company making money because. The reason why they uh, pay for advertisement is to get attention, to get people, to get uh, get attention for potential uh, potential uh, customers, potential uh, business ventures, things like that. And the thing is that it, it's understandable. But um, my problem with it is the the ability to. Um, not only make money, but it becomes kind of a discouragement for the ability to say just pretty much whatever the fuck you want and all. And I, I personally have it against this whole deal with uh, with the enforcement of foul language and things like that, because overall the majority a majority of people, a lot of people swear. People swear. That's how they are. You can generally can't uh, can't do shit like that, and he, I, I'm even swearing right now, and I, I really don't care, and I don't plan to stop it anytime soon. Now, one of the things that um, Grade A said is that um, some of the ways to kind of mitigate the whole deal with potential uh, determinant of. Uh, any of these type of controversial videos is to to make external uh, ex external funding through like 
for example patreons indiegogo things like that but the, but the thing is the problem with those is that people aren't that compelled to do that like if uh to do something like that because people generally watch videos like for example when they come from for work they just watch it for leisure but they're not the type that wants to be spending money uh, and all you you're only gonna get a certain amount of of people who are probably gonna engage into that and uh, and the thing is that uh, overall like he mentioned that like great a mentioned that if people uh, aren't, aren't getting revenue for something that generally t tends to attract a lot of our audience then people are not gonna uh, are not gonna make those type of videos they're gonna be deterred by it of course that um, that's excluding uh, people that have already have funding as uh, already have funding from like, uh, like crowdfunding things like that and um, there's uh, there's channels that are dedicated to this sort of thing there are channels that are dedicated to controversial topics and if uh, if you turn on uh, monetization from that or you just pretty much uh, deter it in any way you'll have like channels that pretty much collapse because of that because they're that's their whole base controversy controversy uh, in my opinion is a one of great ways to make a lot of audience uh, from people because people like to argue people like to debate these things people get mad they go to the the stuff if you make something that pisses off a lot of people you're gonna get a lot of views and and frankly I see the whole uh, whole guideline shit fucking stupid okay and, and as a sign of protest I'm swearing on this video uh, uh, like nothing I don't care I, I am gonna swear keep talking shit and all and I don't I don't care and my answer to uh, to this whole uh, this whole shit fuck you fuck you I'm not gonna comply to that sort of thing because uh, in my opinion is pretty much conveying is pretty much uh, coercing uh, people to behave a certain way and uh, part of the reason why people like uh, the internet or people uh, uh, YouTube in general is because they like to express the things I like to express the things that I like I'm a I'm a I'm a gaming YouTuber, but I'm also an educational YouTuber, and I'm also a controversial topic YouTuber. I have these whole variety of topics I like to talk about, and it so happens that I like to talk, uh, talk about controversial topics, but seriously, this whole guideline shit is just fucking stupid, but at the same time, I understand the whole implications of advertisers not wanting negative reputations on uh, on, on certain videos especially controversial topics uh, and um, and the thing is ironically uh, sometimes the whole advertisement uh, I just find it fucking funny because um, let me give you an example for example uh, you may be watching a video that's arguing uh, against guns calling for more gun control and everything arguing against it and all of a sudden you see an advertisement that's promoting guns and everything advertising selling guns and everything like that I just I just f find it fucking funny and all but anyway getting back to the whole point with this whole guidelines I just say it's just just plain um, plain bullshit stupid Th that's my opinion of course that's my take of course uh, other people might see it differently and all but anyway uh, that'll be all for now and this is just a kind of a brief uh, announcement now but anyway thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and pledge to my patreon okay pledge to my patreon 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.